Hey everyone, it's Zach with Toilet and Troubles DIY. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, demo, and review of AXA Technologies' latest Pico projector, the P400. And even if you're not in the market for a new projector, stay tuned because I'm also going to be taking a look at Atmos FX's brand new digital decoration, Spectral Signs. Let's check it out. But first things first, let's unbox the P400. The AXA P400 has a native resolution of 1080p. It has a brightness of 400 LED lumens at its brightest setting. It has a short throw ratio of 0.7 to 1, allowing it to project an image 15 feet wide at 9 feet 2 inches away. It has a built-in battery that lasts up to two hours in eco mode. It has a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. It has touch sensitive onboard controls and a manual focus wheel. It has a built-in speaker, HDMI video input, a 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader, and has a price tag of $269. So the box feels well packaged. You've got a bunch of good information on the front of the box, as well as all the specs on the back. Some padding up front. Customer support card. The user manual. I'm taking out the projector. It's a really good looking projector. You've got a brushed aluminum top. There's the touch sensitive controls on the top. On the left side is the USB port. On the back is the micro SD card slot. And on the right side of the projector is the on and off switch, the DC power input, the HDMI input, the manual focus wheel, and the stereo headphone jack. And on the front of the projector is the speaker. It is a little bit heavier than some of the other AXA projectors that I have, but at 1.2 pounds, it is still quite light. On the long end, it's only four and a half inches long by four inches tall, so it should provide for some really easy digital decorating. I think you can hide this little projector in, in a lot of different spots. So also inside the box is the power adapter. And it also comes with a small tripod. And it also comes with a remote. All right, so let's see what the AXA P400 can do. So I've got the P400 turned on and it's able to completely fill this 88 inch wide projection screen at about five and a half feet away. So taking a look at the main menu, it's very basic. You have options for movie, music, settings, photo, brightness, and input source. Taking a look at settings, you have settings for sound, options, and picture. Inside of the picture settings, you can adjust the picture mode. You can change the brightness. I'm gonna go with the bright, which lets you project at 400 LED lumens. You can change the color temperature. You can change the aspect ratio. You have some slideshow options, and then you can change the angle of the projection. Going back to the main menu, checking out the brightness settings. Again, you can change it between eco, standard, and bright. In eco mode, the projector of the battery is gonna last for upwards of two hours. And then in bright, at its brightest setting, this option is only available when the projector is plugged in. While 400 LED lumens really isn't the brightest, I think it is perfectly acceptable, especially inside of a dark environment. But the main selling point here is really the short throw functionality. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a projector comparison in order to show you exactly how bright those 400 LED lumens are. So I'm going to compare the AXA P400 at 400 LED lumens to the AXA M7 at 1200 LED lumens. So for the purpose of the demo, I've turned the lights in the room off. I've plugged my computer into the HDMI port on the P400, and I'm going to be playing a scene from Atmos FX's Bone Chillers 2. 
So let's go over to the input source, digital input for the HDMI out, and it should bring up my computer. Okay, so now that we've done a brightness test, let's see how the P400 does with outdoor digital decorations. But first, as promised, let's talk about Atmos FX's latest digital decoration, Spectral Signs. Spectral Signs features ominous handprints, footprints, and cryptic messages, each accompanied by their own creepy sounds that fade into darkness. With each of the three decorations available in four colors and four lighting options, there are seemingly endless possibilities to add a sense of impending doom to your Halloween display. Let's check out four of my favorites. Between the colors and lighting options, there are so many variations that there's no way that I could show them all. But those were some of my favorites that I could see myself using in my own haunt. These may not be the most groundbreaking digital decorations from Atmos FX, but if used the right way, I think they could have a high impact in your haunt. With a little imagination, the possibilities are pretty endless. If you're interested in seeing more scenes from Spectral Signs or purchasing this decoration for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, now back to the P400. Because of the AXA P400's compact size and short throw capabilities, one more decoration I think it would be amazing for is a doorway scene. Aside from using vertically oriented decorations like the one seen in Spectral Signs, Atmos FX offers several scenes specifically made for doorways like Night Stalkers and Trick or Treat to name a few. Let's try it out. Okay, so this is my front door, and because I've got a lot of glass in my front door, I had to throw some blackout curtains over it so you can see the projection. The projector is about five and a half feet from my front door, kind of tucked behind this column, and it's sitting on a light stand with an umbrella adapter connected to it to get it into that vertical position. And because the AXA P400 doesn't have any sort of keystone correction, the projection isn't going to show up perfectly but I think it's still going to provide for a pretty high impact effect. So let's check out this scene from Night Stalkers.
All right, so I've had an opportunity to demo the AXA P400 in a couple of different scenarios using different digital decorations, and here are my thoughts. Okay, so let's start off with the not so great. The fact that the P400 does not include any sort of keystone correction. Especially for a short throw projector, vertical keystone correction is almost an absolute must. Now, while I don't think this is a complete deal breaker, it's definitely going to limit the amount of digital decorations that I think would be good to use the P400 for. So next up, let's talk about the brightness. So at 400 LED lumens, the AXA P400 is definitely not the brightest, which again is going to limit the types of digital decorations you can use it for. But if you stick to decorations like jack-o'-lantern jamboree or ghostly apparitions, things that have a really bright subject, but not necessarily a background of any kind, I still think this projector will work for you. Okay, now let's talk about the good. The best part about this projector is its main selling point, which is its short throw capabilities. Couple the short throw with its small size and weight, you can hide this projector anywhere in your haunt and it's going to make a big impact. I don't think the P400 is going to work for everyone, but if you do have a specific instance for your digital decorating that you absolutely need to have a short throw projector that's small and easy to hide, I definitely think the P400 is the one for you. Overall, due to the fact that this projector is a 1080p short throw projector with a two hour built-in battery and sells for $269, I definitely think the AXA P400 is a projector worth checking out. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. I wanna thank AXA Technologies for sending the P400 for me to check out. If you found value in this review, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Zach with Toiling Troubles DIY, and until next time, go make your own magic.